All right, and with Thanksgiving literally just days away, the house will be full of people, but it also will be full with some furry friends. And joining me this morning is Dr. Stacy from Modern Animal to give us some tips and tricks on what our pets can and cannot have if we want to give them some food from our feast. So thank you for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you for having us. Um, so this is Juniper. She's here to endorse our um, recommendations. Yes, absolutely. Um, but yeah, so on Thanksgiving, obviously <sighs> there's a lot going on in the kitchen um, and our pets often want to be involved in that. Um, so I recommend, I mean, the best thing would just be to like love them with attention and more, a little more affection. But if you insist on sharing some of your meals, um, something really plain, no salt, no spices, okay. especially no fats, and definitely avoid the turkey bones. So yes. plain white meat turkey, you can give sweet potatoes, um, some raw veggies, um, all those things are perfectly fine. Um, and in moderation, obviously. Yeah. And know your pet, right? Cause some yeah. dogs, they just change their dog food and they're going to get upset tummies. So we definitely see a lot of GI upset the day after Thanksgiving. Okay, that's important to know. I know my dog is always trying to get a bite of anything she can. So yes. I will definitely keep that in mind when we are eating our Thanksgiving meal today. Or not, on Thursday. Um, so yeah, why... Can't they have the turkey bone? I feel like a lot of people do give it to them as a treat, treat. and reward. Sure. I mean, they can splinter. Um, they can cause oh. irritation to the stomach and That's or the good. intestines. Um, so, and then just the fattiness of sometimes the turkey skin, things like that can cause yeah. pancreatitis. So a lot of things we want to avoid. Yes. And if that were to happen, people can come see you. Why don't you tell them where you're located and uh, how they can check you out? Sure. Yeah. So we will be there bright and early Friday morning um, at 8 a.m. <laughs> and hopefully we don't have to see any of you, but we're on South Lamar. Um, we're a new animal clinic called Modern Animal, yes. and um, we'll be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 8 to 6 okay. after Thanksgiving. So yes, in case your little furry friend gets something they shouldn't, you can go see Dr. Mo. Is there anything else we should know about the Modern Animal clinic basically. Yeah, so I mean we're membership based. Other than that, we're a full service veterinary clinic um, and we're um, open seven days a week, which I think is really cool. That we is. also have virtual care, which is that's our big thing that's unique. I think we have 24-7 virtual care with the Modern Animal employee um, for all of our, our members. That's great because my dog, she's two now, but when she was a puppy, she was getting into things she shouldn't. And it was yeah. very stressful because I was like, I wish I could just call her vet right now. It's, it's just peace of 3 mind. a.m. Yeah. yeah, so that's great. And um, if people want to, you know, check that out, book an appointment with you, what's the best way to do so? Just go online, uh, modernanimal.com, or you can check out our app. It has all the information there, too. Also, Modern Animal. Yes, me and Ella will be uh, coming to see you. She's awesome. due for some shots. So we can't wait to meet her. Oh, you're going to love her. She And thank you, Juniper, for coming in studio and giving us a friendly reminder to make sure you guys have the right things going in your tummy. Thank you, Stacey, for coming in. And, uh, Thanks for having us. Yeah, let's have a good holiday season and make sure everybody's taken care of, even the pets.